back from the break. Now, you know, we've been talking about the whole local government debate for a couple of weeks now. And from what you've been saying to me, here is what I understood. We're a little tired of systems getting changed every time a government does. The moment one is in place, along comes another government, and it's off with your heads. Karachiites are worried about the fate of Mustafa Kamal, while our followers from Punjab think that the Nazim system is corrupt. Politicians are part of the dynastic politics of Pakistan. One educated man is better than a family of uneducated feudals with power. These are some of the points that have been raised uh, on, on Twitter and a debate over the weeks. Now, it's a tough debate, which is why it's taking so long for this government to figure out. Or it could be that it just takes them long to figure out anything at all. Well, uh, we've met the ma um, behind the Nazim system. Now let's discuss the matter with Fahim Zaman, former administrator of Karachi. Good morning and welcome to Breakfast at Dawn. Good morning. Thank, thank you for having um, me here. Uh, it's a pleasure. In fact, I wanted to uh, have you on the program earlier, but I know you were traveling abroad. But uh, do tell me, Fahim, what's the fuss all about? First of all, going back to what you were saying, uh, I honestly believe that the worst form of any democratic system or dispensation is better than the best possible autocratic system. So I may have worked as uh, an administrator of Karachi City, but I think the city deserves better. It deserves its own city council and its, its own elected uh, representatives. Uh, the problem is that the, the, the so-called devolution plan which was uh, was a gift of the last military government, um, is it was basically based on malified intentions. Uh, when I say malified intention, no, nobody, I mean, somebody has to be crazy to oppose decentralization, meaning constitution of the third tier of governance in the country. Uh, devolution means uh, a statutory transfer of not only responsibilities but also authorities to uh, to the local uh, level lo or municipal level uh, from federal as well as provincial uh, um, governments. That did not happen. Um, nothing was devolved from the federal government to uh, provincial government. Provincial government uh, were uh, uh, provincial administrations were stripped their authorities. In, in fact, about 112 little fiefdoms were created so that Pakistan, which is essentially a federation, a federation of four constitu uh, remaining uh, constituting units, um, they, they, I mean, they, they, they were devolved to Karachi, Hyderabad, Lahore, Okada, uh, Pishar, Koita. Maybe it is a good thing, thing and maybe we should have uh, more provinces in this country. But only political parties, a federal parliament, provincial parliaments, have the authority to, to do so, not a military government. And the worst thing that the military government did was, I mean, they talked about devolution, they talked about empowering people at the grassroots level, etc., etc. They never agreed a to um, uh, transfer or um, sort of. Uh, uh, transfer the cantonment boards, right. like Sada, Clifton. I mean, th th there's literally no military establishments there. Which is something that Mustafa Kamal complained about yeah. so I repeatedly. Mean, every, I mean, when I was the administrator, I used to, at th that time there were 26 um, uh, agencies um, functioning, or 26 land-owning agencies right. functioning in Karachi. Now there are about 12 or 13. 13. The problem is that most of the land control is still outside the Karachi city district government or you know purview of city council. So what are you talking about? So you're saying that the system is, is good but it's just that the implementation of it is problematic. Okay. There, there are problems with the system. There are problems of an implementation. There is um, a, a, the issue of uh, uh, an attempt to try and eliminate provinces or the politic or the provincial autonomy in this country. There are many issues. Okay, which are not. The thing is that the, the previous local government system uh, where you had the metropolitan corporations and district council, uh, they, they were there for more than 120 years in this country. It was, it was uh, eliminated or destroyed by a stroke of pen. Now, for eight years, you have this system functioning 
Okay, people are getting used to union councils, etc., etc. Now you're trying to decommission these, this system. Okay, where do you go? So there has to be a political debate at the level of the four provincial uh, parliaments, you, at the level of the uh, national parliament, and then only maybe a commission should be formed. Maybe the lawyers, jurists, they should look into the. the the people like uh, Mustafa Kamal and other nuns. Well, you know, the Nazims got together recently. I mean, very late in the day, it must yeah. be said, that they got together and they, they put together a, a committee and presented their view. And then also, uh, Prime Minister you know, Gilani that said that it comes attempt, to the... You know, that is an attempt to resist the changes being made into the system. Uh, for him, know, if yeah. I may, can we, can we talk about this after break? It's, it's a live program. We're going to take a very quick break now, but we'll be right back. Stay with us here on Breakfast at Dawn.